Welcome to a video of what's in my bag. And as you can see, this thing is full. Eh. We got a lot of goalie gear. This is just the goalie edition. Let's get into it. The bag is super full. We got a lot of goalie gear. It's gonna be my ball hockey, ice hockey, and roller hockey. Cause basically it's mostly the same gear, but there's a lot of pieces in there. Let's start with the knee pads since they weren't even in my bag before. My knee pads, I got the Bauer 1X knee guards. These things have gone through hell. As you can see, they are finished. I've had them for seven years now. Um, this is an extra seat cushion, a bleacher seat cushion. I've cut it in half and I put in the knee guard for extra knee padding. I cut off the power plate here. It was bugging me, it wouldn't hold, but they do the job. They protect you, it doesn't hurt bad. And at the end of the day, can you really get mad about it? On the ice, let's start with those. We got E-Flex 4s. Now we got two sets, two gloves, because in college they buy you two gloves. I have just started wearing this one, okay? I've had this gear for about five years now, and I've just started wearing this one. Closes beautifully. They're both pro palms. I didn't get no game ready or practice palm. Um, this one's seen maybe three hours of ice time, and this one has seen five years of ice time. So it's destroyed, the leather's coming apart, there's holes in it, the leather's finished. Um, but, oh, and it's super crunchy. There's nothing worse than super crunchy gear. I don't even want to put it on. E-Flex 4 glove, green, white, and blue. That's what you guys know. Uh, 590 brake, both pull pump. The blocker, look at this thing. It's not even white anymore. This is finished. I've had this for five years now. E-Flex floor blocker, basic, no binding. Blocker's a blocker, or so I thought till I tried the new one, but it did the job for five years. In the hockey bag, we also got this little pouch, Hamilton Bulldogs. I have a Mercier's one. I don't know where it is. Uh, basically, we got extra blades. When we got the new blade text, we got them. We got tape. I don't got much left. I have to go buy clear tape for the first time in 10 years. I never thought I'd have to buy clear tape again. And we got an off-ice ball for if ever I, for some reason, I want to warm up before a beer league game. I don't see myself doing that, but I have it. The shower bag, because if you don't shower at hockey, Come on, you're playing competitive hockey, shower after your game. Just saying, even in beer league, it's nasty. The ice skates. We got Bauer 2S Pros. Bauer 2S Pros, okay? These are what, six, seven years old now? Old skates, really old skates. This is my third pair of them. Um, I had bought a pair, went to college, and college we got new skates every year. Uh, these are the last ones standing. Well, I had another pair, but you'll see them later. And of course, we got the Blade Tech Skate Blades. These things are unreal, they're gorgeous. They got Heffy, they got my number, they got my logo. Green to match the set, they look great, and honestly, they feel great on the ice. I had great edges with them. Can't complain. I'm a triple E in width with my skates. I got super wide feet. The chest pad. So, wow. That smells bad. That's the first time I've smelt my own gear, like oh jeez. Power 2X Pro chest pad. Body is a large, arms are a medium. Uh, love this chest, great mobility out of the box, felt great. I know it's like eight years old now, or six, six, or something like that. Um, it's taken an absolute beating, but I did love it while I used it, and I say it in the past tense because we have a new chest coming. It's done a good job, it's done a really good job. Haven't gotten too many bruises or injuries with this, can't complain with it. Bauer 2X chest, because <laughs> everybody loved the Bucky. Bauer 960 mask, uh, painted by I do not know who. Wait a minute, cut by Jamal. I don't know. I can't. I can't see what his name is. Uh, it's the college team that decided who painted the mask. Well, I don't really know who they are, but the guy did an unbelievable job. I gotta give it to him. He is the only mask I have from him. The first mask wasn't done by the same guy and it wasn't good. Luigi paint job because for some reason this is stuck with me. It's been good luck and I kind of want it in all my masks building the brick wall with the past teams on it to show my journey. Montreal Skyline with the number, and I was a graduating junior, so I kind of put the logo kind of falling off the wall because my time at the school was coming to an end. And I thought it was kind of fitting, you know? Uh, more logos for the past in the back, nice little quote, and the anchor with some of my grandparents' initials because they were looking over me, protecting me. Only thing I wish is I wish I had the straps that didn't cover the back plate. Could have done more with it, but it's okay. The mask is beautiful, cage is a little dented, not too bad, but it is my third cage on this mask. Um, 
Good mask, I can't complain with the Bauer mask, I've always been super comfortable, I've had about 9 of them. Overall, I love them. We got the Bauer 2, 2S pants. These are size large. My pants are coming apart, they're finished. I I don't want to change them because good luck finding another pair of green pants somewhere to match your set. But I'm hoping that we're changing the green set soon. Yes, I said it. I'm hoping to change out of the green and go for new colors. But these things have taken absolute beating. They're old vintage pants because they have the inner belt, and I love the inner belt. I use them. I use it all the time. Um, but yeah, they've taken a beating. They're ripping everywhere. Uh, I don't even know. I think I've had them for eight years now because I wore them. I wore the same pair all three years of college, and since graduating too, I've always worn them. So I've had the same pair for all eight years. Ooh, the stitching. Ooh, crap. I don't even know it was that bad. Oh, that's not good. We'll have to fix that or figure it out soon. But yeah, any recommendation for new pants? The CCM E-Flex 4 pads that I've had for six years now. They have taken an absolute beating. As you can see, there's a hole here that I filled and put tape on because you could put your fingers through originally. The leather is ripping in multiple places. Um, these pads have done their job, okay? I got the pro laces at the bottom. I used to have trap specs, they ripped. I got a pair of regular ones with my name. Yeah, they're red because I got them for Belgium, but it doesn't matter. But I got the two straps, wouldn't have them anymore. I got the loose fit calf wrap, I would have a tighter one. Uh, I have the PGS removable under the knee strap. I added this myself in beer league, great addition to the pad. Um, I don't wrap it around my knee. I don't like the extra restraint. I don't like how tight it makes my knee feel. And after surgery, I couldn't play with that anymore. So these things are great. Absolutely destroyed. Um, soft boot, soft upper. So after six years, you can only imagine what's happened to them. Now for roller hockey and ball hockey, my setup is a little different. Same basic units there. Hopefully we get the new chest soon, I can't wait. But then we got some different. So for roller hockey, we got my old Bauer 2S skates. These were my ice skates until I started playing roller. Then I said, you know what, I'm just gonna change them to roller skates. It makes the most sense instead of buying a new pair. And I've done that and it's been great. Uh, they're comfortable, they're broken into my foot. Love the Bauer 2S skates. I haven't tried trues, I would like to try them, but they're great. We got Conix wheels, uh, Conix and Revision wheels. Uh, thank you, John, for giving these to me because I needed them for the tournament. They are great wheels, grip really well for indoor. Soft finish, because that's what you need for indoor, which I didn't know until somebody told me, thank you. For ball hockey, we're gonna go into ball hockey. Made a TikTok about it, but we use basic Nike shoes. I got these in college for off-ice training. Uh, the team got new, new shoes every year for off-ice. This was the pair we got my freshman year. I took a player knee guard, and I cut off the padding and Velcroed it to the tip of the shoe, because getting a ball in the toe sucks. And uh, yeah, so I taped it to the front. It protects me well, the plastic for the sliders doesn't rub on my toes anymore. It's great because after the first game I was bleeding from my toes. Uh, the only thing is my shoes are coming apart. There's holes in them everywhere. Um, and it's the only shoes I have that I could use for ball hockey. So I'm stuck with them until they completely fall apart. The blocker. We got the PGS blocker. I absolutely fell in love with it. Great protection. Extremely great mobility. Uh, that's where I say a blocker is not just a blocker anymore. Because I never thought about this. It's super, super lightweight. Pop-off fit is great. You can put the rebounds wherever you want. Um, overall, really nice blocker. Nothing bad to say about it. We got the matching glove. It is taped shut right now, uh, just because I want it to be softer and softer. So after using it, once it's wet, you tape it shut like this, and it helps keep it nice and soft, even sitting on it, doing all that. So I'm not gonna open it up to show you how big and deep it is, but you can see how deep this pocket is. Again, great overall glove. They have a nice system that you can kind of switch between a 600 and a 590 glove style, and you just switch yourself based on how the strapping is. It does work and show you the different angles, which is nice. But again, I'm a 590 guy, so I stuck with 590. Comfortable, closes well, makes a nice save, and it looks good in the net. You guys have seen plenty of it so, oh God, so far. The PGS pads, I'm only gonna grab one for now. Uh, they've included the Kineski sliders on them. The pad itself is stiff. Um, mistake I made when I ordered them, I used the same size as my CCMs, but because they're stiff, they don't bend as much, so they're a, a bit higher, they're a bit big on me. That's my mistake. Um, I should have grabbed a deeper boot, something that I've, I've mentioned to them, but overall the pad is great. I have no complaints besides the sizing mistake I made. I like how they put the knee strap on the inside here. As you see, it comes through the knee so that it cradles you better without giving you the tension behind your knee. The calf wrap is nice and tight. 
uh, extra Velcros on them so that it holds the pad perfect and really, really light, including with the slider. So can't complain about them at all. Great gear. And then we got a ball hockey mask. Yes, because of course you guys know if I'm going to roast you because the setup doesn't match, my setup's got to match before you roast me. We got the PGS custom made mask. So this mask is custom to my head, first of all, which is unbelievable because they made it around the shape of my head. Uh, never had a mask do that before. I've taken quite a few off the face. Uh, stingers aren't bad at all. Uh, of course, if you get on the side of the, side of the head, it doesn't, it doesn't feel great, but it's better than I've had in the past. So I really, really appreciate that protection, that extra protection they have to offer. It was done by Mario Designs. Uh, he did an unbelievable job. Everything came out super clean, super nice. You can barely tell that it's a wrap unless you look at it super, super close. Uh, fits super comfortably. You can see really well. Absolutely love this mask. That's all the gear I have. Do I want to show you? I'm not going to show you guys the sticks. We'll save that for another video. That's my goalie gear. My on ice goalie gear, my ball hockey goalie gear, my roller gear. Obviously, I'm a huge gear enthusiast and I'm hoping to get much more of it over time and make more videos like this. If you guys have any questions about gear, please ask me. I've used every company on the market, literally, because I'm very picky about my gear, so I can talk about a lot of it. We still have the player bag to do, the coaching bag. There's so much more gear, you guys have no idea. Here's a quick example. That's all gear. Those are my pads in the back. That's the stall over there. We got gear for days, okay? Love hockey gear, player, goalie, whatever it is. All the sticks are back there. We got some gear. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. Like and subscribe. If you want to talk some more gear, hit me up, DM me, comment, whatever it is, I'll get back to you as always.